Why? Not on me. It's the only topical cream I got. Well, that happens. Sorry. Holy shit, look at that. There was something. Hey, Whose phone, are... who's fucking phone is still on? Which one of you cocksuckers still has the fucking ringer on your goddamn... That'd be me. That'd be me. That's on me. <laughs> uh, so... You know, this what this is the official show about nothing. Yeah. And something. Yeah. And stuff. Yeah. It's just... Things and stuff. There you go. Yeah. Things and stuff. Let's be very, very couple specific weeks, about what we're talking we'll about. We'll get together and we'll talk about some stuff. Maybe about a couple of things. Things. And then some other stuff to deal with those things. Yeah. And then maybe. Yeah. There know, might maybe be... we don't know anything about those things. Yeah. Well, because there's that, whatchamacallit, do hickey thing. The thing with the, the, stuff. With the other deal. And yeah. once you put those the thing in the doohickey to go, by God, you got her made. Oh, fuck, we put Scruffy to sleep. Oh. Damn, Scruffy. Can't entertain this dog. It's just not interested in anything. No. Such a critic. No. Then, I mean, we're so entertaining that we have uh, crocheting going on. I mean, yeah. you, you've had a, a discussion. Look, of, look, there's a person right here. See? Yeah. See, person? <laughs> you're famous. <laughs> this is your famous elbow. I hope your other elbow doesn't start shit now. <laughs> yeah. There you go. And then <laughs> the dog's sleeping. <laughs> yeah, he's out. He, he's out. He's, he's like, been through this, this too many times, dude. He's like, we're going to be go. here a minute. You don't really care. Scruffy's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe he can sleep like that. Well, I've, there's been nights I he, slept like that, too. He, uh, in the van, when he sleeps, he sleeps in one of the, like, pilot seats in the mid, in the middle, and you have to have the arm rest up so he can rest his chin on it. Oh, and yeah. pass out. I've been there. Yeah. You know, he does it regularly. I've just been there because it's fun. Uh, no, that's just how, that's just how he sleeps. There you go. I mean, unless he's drunk all the time. I don't really know what he's doing when he's not around, you know. Um. Yeah, it's kind of like the whole does does a bear shit in the woods kind of deal. Yeah. Yeah. Scruffy won't shit in the woods. He won't. No, you can't see what's coming at you in the woods. You out of your mind? Well, he, he needs a big opening where he can see shit around him. I I tell you what, I need. Actually, he needs home field advantage for real because we took him to that prop <laughs> concert and he did not shit the whole time we were gone. We were gone for three days and he did not poop. Until we got back to the house. Why? I don't know. I've never had a dog that did that before. <laughs> Just imagine that Tootsie Roll. He's, he's, that was like, uh, he's that'd be amazing. At, he's pooped at hotels before when, because we took him a couple In the room? years ago. No, outside. Oh. But this time, yeah, he would not. And we ate fast food and pizza and all kinds of stuff. And he just would not do it. He's a, he's a soldier, dude. He's For a real. trooper. It really is. Yeah. I got a few subjects wrote down here. Um, the first one, how do you handle the rumors that you're actually gay and that all this whoring and stuff is just to hide the fact that you're actually a raging homosexual? Is that, is that, is, is that a question or is that just... Inquiring just a... minds want to know. <laughs> oh. Well, see... We've it... gotten a lot of comments. A lot of uh, people have written in, asked, hey... Some about that guy says cock thirsty. <laughs> uh, no, no, never happened. No, no, I don't think I don't I don't think that ever could happen. I, mean, that's what I thought that's what I said back in the comments. Yeah, I was like, no, he wouldn't do that. He's yeah. definitely not. But you know, they, I figured I'd let you answer. I mean, it, it's it's it gets to the point. Even a, a fucking, oh. even a even a fucking even a dude that you know, or a fucking uh, lady Stumped that looks him. like a dude that you know what I mean is like, ooh, getting into deep water here. No, I'm. Just, I mean, that that can't be attractive. So how can you even like that? That just can't. What what it, happened? What's not attractive? What happened? Well, you know you. You know, you get to six foot two, fucking five twenty. You know, six foot two fat ladies can be attractive. Exactly, except when they grow a better mustache than you. I mean, suppose somebody's got that type. 
<laughs> yeah, that's just I'm just like I, I'm sure. I'm sure they. What I don't was that, know who uh, he is, but I bet whoever he is, he weighs about a buck twenty. Yeah, you know, remember that freaking show, Road Trip? You remember that with that skinny little dudes after that big fat yeah. chick? Oh my god, I see skinny hilarious. guys. I see skinny guys with great big ladies all all. The How time. the fuck? All the time. How does that work? Um, some people are into like uh, I don't know if it's called like crushing or squishing or whatever. What? Oh, yeah. whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, 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 no, whoa, whoa, uh, whoa, 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 crushing or squishing or whatever yeah what the hell and is that, that him and some other guys are paying these really large women uh money like prostitute type money to just lay on them and squish them and they that they they really really enjoy that a lot and then except for this time um, he was supposed to like pinch her or something what if it was too much and he didn't so him suffocated Crushing. What? Squishing? The, the, Smushing? <laughs> no, smushing is what people call just doing it. Is it what? Um, what? What is... Hmm. Plopping? Do you understand <laughs> that? <laughs> no, she don't understand that either. She's in college and she don't know what the hell it yeah, is. Yeah, exactly. She's in college in South Dakota. Well, yeah. <laughs> no. I mean, the episode was in Vegas. Scruffy. All they're worried about is Palestinians right now. He won't even fucking answer me anymore. He has completely given he up. Left the building. If I sound crappy at all, I uh, he's, he's had the, the COVID for the fourth time. There. What? What are we? Uh, what are we? What are we knitting or whatever? What? What are we knitting? What is um, it? She's really into knitting skulls on skull. things. She knitted this uh, really cool. It's like a big skull with a little loop thing, and you hang it on your um, rear view mirror. And then you can just spray it with whatever scent or use scented oils or whatever. So I don't have to worry about getting a fucking sweater or something. Not thank, yet. Thank God. Right now she's more like um, skull black socks skull would be in cool, the middle though. of like a, a cup holder type thing. You know, really. Th I'm not sure what she's going for. You know that, that really thick fucking stuff they use to do what? that? She's making fucking pants right now. <laughs> Excuse me. Pants. Excuse me, coaster. So I thought it was a coaster over here. I thought, I you know, I I think you know that real thick fucking heavy stuff they use to do that. That big, just imagine free. You can make some of them fucking like slipper fucking sock looking with skulls. That'd be fucking cool as shit in the winter. Yeah, some Christmas socks. Not like the ones you hang over the fireplace, but like ones for your feet. And you could just like put them over your other socks and have them be like your house socks. Yeah, there you go. That's fucking cool. That way we can uh, be like have a Christmas vacation. Yeah. You know, do the old Chevy. And if somebody Chevy spills chase. something on the floor and you step in it, it doesn't ruin your socks. It just gets on your Christmas sock. Yeah. Because, you know, holidays get crazy. A lot of the times I, I blame a lot of stuff that, no, that's eggnog, you know. I don't really drink you know. eggnog. No, I don't drink it either, but everything is like, what's that? Oh, it's eggnog. Oh, gross. Yeah, that's that's terrible. Hey, you know, you gotta do. I, what you gotta I, have, do. I have a hard time producing thoughts, and I'm blaming it on the heat. It has been so stupid, fucking hot out lately, and I don't even work outside. Well, then how do you know it's hot if you're not outside? Um, because I work at a gas station, and every single person that comes in goes, "Whoo, hot one out today." Yeah, I hear that about five hundred, six hundred times as a day. You, as you shiver a little bit, saying, "Whoo." No, 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 no. The air conditioning in the place we work at does not keep up. Not when it's 90 some degrees out. Not oh, all. So all of a sudden going to restock the cooler is the shit, right? Yeah. Yeah. I get stuck doing that a lot. Yeah, I uh, stuck. Yeah, stuck on the 95 degree day when the AC's broke. Don't worry, I'll go restock cooler. Yeah. Well, I also have to go outside and do the trashes and stuff like that too. Well, yeah, cuz and that's that sucks. Sometimes. Don't don't you work with a lot of women? They don't do trash. What? No, they I mean, volunteer. They, they volunteer to do it, but like as uh, 
they can't throw guy, away. you know, as like just a regular guy, not anything special. I don't, um, I don't feel comfortable letting them go out and do the heavy trash cans and shit and all that stuff. You misogynist. No, Oof. it just, uh, I was raised to do that stuff instead. You're if so damn them, sexist. I wouldn't mind if they did it, but if one of them was to say, like, go out and do it and something happened or they got hurt or so, I would feel horribly responsible for it. Yeah, I know. That's it's part not of that our they upbringing. can't do it. They're fully capable of doing it. I just don't think they should have to do it. Well, that's the thing is they're fully capable of doing everything. So you just, they want something, they just, they could just do it because then you like, you're capable. It's not like if I told them to do it, they would complain and be like, oh, what the fuck? I don't want to take it hot and it smells. No. I don't want to throw my friends away. No, they would just go do it. Yeah. But yeah, it just, it's a personal thing. It just bugs me. So yeah, most of the stuff I do is so I can feel good about who I am, you know? Who who are you? I'm not entirely sure, but I'm a nice person. You well, let's let's keep this in reality here. I am. I mean I'm sometimes too much of a nice person. You, well, you Some want to be a nice me person as like stupid because I'm nice, you know, and they think I'm dumb. Dumb. Huh? Yeah. Huh. Well I mean I more more dumb than I am i think it's more not dumb that, than you are it's like not that i think i'm, I'm only dumb i'm only smart. dumb 40 i'm only a 40 on a 100 scale dumb I'm but people like, say i'm a 35 i'm not like a scientist or anything but yeah, i'm so not stupid you, you're saying that you're probably a little better than the, the mountain folk um not so much the mountain folk they know stuff about like hunting and fishing and shit that i don't know about so they're kind of smart in their own way but i'd say the average person walking around with their phone in their face yeah i'm smarter than that guy the the ones that walk into shit because they can't look up the ones that don't talk when they come into the gas station and like you know buy stuff you know like, hey how's it going and they just throw money up there and just wait and just either look down or look at you and they have headphones in and stuff because they can't talk to you and there's a lot of those and most of them are like 20 and under huh yeah so these 20 and under so very experienced to life uh -huh. they, they know no they, they know. can't oh. handle it oh they literally can't handle everyday interactions well that happens it's, it's, I was like that for a little bit, but I went and got therapy and shit. And well, you, you think maybe it was a little bit of helicopter parenting, you know? You, yeah, um, they you, said that there was... Sally I pulled saw, Jimmy's hair. I saw she can't news, come dude. over anymore. I saw in the news that there was a, a drastic increase in the number of people bringing their parents to their first job interview. <laughs> Oh yeah, no! Isn't that Bringing fucking at least ridiculous? One parent to their first job interview. Man, yeah, I can work for you, man. I can't uh, leave the house or go places by myself, but I can fucking come <laughs> make it to work every day. But no problem. You can count on me. It's freaking ridiculous what people have to do. I'm. Mean, it's no joke. They, you know, they'll go out and even even. I mean, me. I got daughters. Is a little different. So. She something goes wrong with her vehicle, you know, whatever. I mean, that's what dads do, but not this one. I yeah, that's that's what I feel. That's what dads I, do, or whatever. I but wish I had learned I mean, stuff when when I was like freaking sixteen. Someone around my, he didn't give a shit. Fix it, you know. It, you don't fix it, you don't drive. So I had to learn to fix it. But shit, there's people twenty five years old that can't even change their own oil or a tire. I mean, yeah. but but they're fucking change, woman probably change could oil. I can change a tire. Yeah, I can do that stuff. Do you got you got that down? Yeah, I've always been able to do that. All I right. mean, well, back when cars, you know, when you could see what the hell was going on, you had room to work on yeah. them. I mean, I changed uh, my first car. I changed the alternator in it myself. I fucking you know, I've changed the batteries. I've changed you know. You got to be just, careful about talking about cars because he's got a sore subject going on. We don't want. Oh no! I don't. I, I, no, I, I don't want to. I don't want to fucking. It's not a big deal. I don't want to fucking get it it's all excited. It's not a big deal. By the time it's all fixed and stuff, it'll be sweet, dude. Yeah. Okay. Next thing you know, he'll be fucking. He'll start on a rant, and it'll never quit. Yeah. And he'll just keep going and going and going and going and going, and then 
Then no, but as long don't as that, start as long with as fucking used cars dealer. Don't start with fucking bucks like they're supposed to. Everything will be fine. Yeah, don't don't start with the used cars thing. Don't start with fucking the the you buy the a used car, get shit. one that even if it blows up, you'll be happy. That's it. Exactly. You gotta buy what you want. Yep. Even if it blows up and you gotta get a new motor for it, you'll still be happy because there's so much else about it that you like. There's a lot of other stuff that I like. And that's just, I mean, if you're looking for a used car in South Dakota right now, that's the only way to go for it because they're not even really worried about fixing them because there's just such a high turnover rate. Well, darn right. So now we need to, so at the, this is what the, the intermission of the show. So we're going to have to see, she's going to have to hold out the, the, the crocheting. Is that what it is? Yeah. Crocheting. Okay. You knitting or knitting or crocheting, whatever. Hold it out she got to hold it out. She, she don't want to be on camera, but she can hold it out and show it. This, this is where I'm at. So then every week, this has got to happen. It show it. Yeah, you got, all right. There, see, you'll see. There, there you go. Is. There you go. She's got the one patch, a little gray patch with a black skull in it. And she's going to knit a pair right, of pants. Yep. There's another one. Oh, There's another wait, one. She's doing a bunch see, of patches. We got this shit. So oh, very nice. Anybody needs this shit, fucking get a hold of us. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Oh, we'll let you she see can what make, the She can make like, like, like. They're from Andy. She bought the yarn. She's also going to have to pay for the work, though, kid. Yeah. You don't know how to sell. She, she doesn't she's understand not the way life works. You need to keep track of how many hours it takes you to make those pants and then discuss what Mandy's going to pay for these pants. <laughs> Because huh. if she does throw a fit about you, we can buy her new yarn, um, and she can have the yarn back. But this particular yarn, no, you're going to count some hours into crafting it, and you better make it turn out good, because nobody's paying for crap. <laughs> She'd be like, hell no, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Fuck. No, just have well, fun. It sounds mad you don't have, have fun, need for pants anyway. Sell it for what you want to sell it for. Just stuff you do when you're bored anyways. Bored? It's still pretty damn hot. Hot? It's yeah. only hot until it fucking cools off. Are there any, like, good food places in Sioux Falls or anything? There is. What? Oh, you're asking me? Yeah, like anything. Oh. What would you... Okay. I, if yeah, you I thought you just right asked now, if there was any place. Yeah, if you yeah. had to pick right now, where would you go? Uh, For, for anything? Yeah, just what? for food. Like, what are you a big fan of right now? What do you find yourself getting a lot? Oh, fuck. Like always, I just like steak. Steak? Steak taters. You know, Who's got um, a good steak? Uh, Maury's has got the best, but you don't really. No shit? Yeah. Maury's got the best here. Uh, then, you know, then you go to the chain stuff, Texas uh, Roadhouse. Maury's, right. do you have to do like a reservation and stuff? Is all that? Is usually, fancy? usually, but uh, you go, you can get into the to the bar area. They got bar seating because they have a, they have a really, not really, really nice bar. I bet. And uh, really good, really good cocktails and stuff. If you if you're into that, nice. But, uh, they uh, you can go get uh, go in and uh, you know sit down with just two people. Usually, you can get into the bar pretty quick. But uh, if you're planning on taking a party or something, yeah, uh, you, no way. You know, you're taking four or five people. Then yeah, you got to get a. Usually, I mean, it helps out a lot. Otherwise, there's a long wait. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Nice. Yeah, but I they're, never they're heard actually, of that place. Dude, they're actually the best. It's, it's expensive. You know, it's, well, yeah. it's on the upper end. Yeah. But it, uh, it's, dude. You, Texas Roadhouse, I hit all the time. Yeah. I love that place. Texas, I mean. Great food. I don't, I don't care what people say. Texas Roadhouse is good. I mean, yeah. it's a, is it fantastic? No, but is it good quality all the time? Yeah. I don't have a problem with it. I do that yeah. all the time. Yeah, they get. You know, good I'll sit there, there. You always know what you're gonna get. You know, yeah. it's always gonna be the same quality. It's always gonna be good. Is it fucking outstanding? Yeah, but it's fucking good. I mean, good. It's, a, it's it's. I mean, kind of on this. You expect the same level as like Outback and stuff. I yeah, mean, Outback here is bad. Fucking bad. Dude. That sucks. Sorry if I keep breathing out of my nose a lot. I do still have. You have a COVID. nose. You're a nose breather. No, I just. I feel like I'm congested. Why I'm not? I don't Why? Know. Oh, because you have Y two K. Yeah, it. I got Y two K three times two. Yeah, Y two K. What is it? Y two K third generation Mark two variant, variant from, D from Louisville sub variant yeah. seventy four from the Louisville strain. Yeah, you yeah. guys. Yeah, Y two K is a serious thing. You catch that, dude? <sighs> Game over. Yeah, got it. I mean, Y two K. We got sucks. it early though. We got it early, so I survived. Oh, yeah, so be careful with that. So stuff. you got only the Y two K one and a half. Huh? Yeah, yeah, it did all right. All right, 
so that ain't so bad. Oh. I mean, you know, you know oh what? Oh my god. What do you look so look at him? Look at that. He's out with his eyes like, open look, his mouth. Open. He's like he's smiling. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about steak earlier, dude. He's, <laughs> he's having a dream. He's just like eating a big old big old porterhouse. <laughs> just mowing away on it. Nobody bothering him. Dude, you look crazy, man. Dude. Look at it. <laughs> you should turn the camera and see that shit. That'd be fucking hilarious. Uh, we did, we need to get a scruffy cam for sure. Yeah, we need a scruffy, we need cam. A scruffy cam. This guy just zones out. We could just have it like uh like picture in picture. Yeah. Just have it like up in the corner of the whole episode. Just him and the weird faces he yeah, makes. Maybe, maybe here, I was like, maybe I can turn it here a little bit and I'll turn this one just a little and see if we can get Oh, it. you don't want to catch her in no, it. No, 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 no. We ain't get her in Right, see we can see, see he's we, zoning out yeah we're gonna be able to know that we go oh no no oh. i gotta go no oh. i'm working on it here i'm working 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 i'm trying to do two things oh, at once here. Rolling around. is he where is he he's twitching Look. Oh. Oh. All, right. all right all right hang on yeah <laughs> there turn ah. <laughs> That's as tight as I could go. He's making the weirdest faces, right? His Look, eyes are rolling around all over. People are going to just watch this shit for Scruffy. Dude. Look at him. He's like out. He is. I don't know what he's dreaming about, man. He's got that weird little smile. If you guys look at his smile, he's kind of oh. smiling. He's got his teeth out. <laughs> he's great. He's a great dog, dude. Oh, yeah. We took him uh, up there for the few days for the prof concert. He didn't bark. He didn't cause any trouble. Didn't have any issues with him at all. He was just a great dog. Yeah. Then you got to, you know, all right, well, we'll move it back. And it's going to, oh, oh, well, I'm swinging there a little bit. Sorry. Oh, oh. Just, <laughs> all right. Just cut, him, dude. just cut him up. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, gross, dude. What the heck? Hey, shut up. We're backing up here. Oh, you got to fix that. Get oh. There, Tubby. How's Thank that? You. Jeez, man. Woo. There you go. You better? That was in way too tight, dude. You see, you got that, My God. You got that sex hat on. At the same time, though, have you seen uh, what Fred Durst looks like? Yeah, I look at him all the time. The no, fuck kind of weird question for, is that? The singer for Limp Biscuit. They just started touring again and everything, and... He came out, and he's, he's got a white beard, big old white beard, and he's got, like, a big-ass white fro type thing. What? Uh, the Dude, the songs are, I don't know. I don't know, man. You don't know? Yeah, is I don't know. Song, no, is that, that you I just don't, don't know. know. They're, I you don't just know. said the song, I don't know. I don't know if what they're doing is a good idea or not. Idea? Idea. I don't know. Did you say? Did you just say idea? I don't think I did on purpose, but you I did say idea. I didn't, didn't do you? it on purpose, though. You said them nerds out there. I'm just saying it on purpose. I'm yeah. just white trash. You thinking day about night. Gator? We talking about earlier? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> 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 he thought we was talking to. Him. <laughs> Call him that because he was from down south. What an idiot. <laughs> 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 But oh, uh, how's the dog? How's your dog doing? I hate that fucking dog. <laughs> I hate that fucking dog with a passion. I can't do it. I mean, all right. The, it is the most annoying little ankle biter. Why don't in we the ever world. have that dog on the show? Because I don't want that dog anywhere around me, but I have no choice. I can't do anything to the damn dog. I can't get rid of the dog. Why not? Because my daughters love the dog. And if I do anything, dog, they'll hate me for the rest of my life. But if they love the dog, why don't they take the dog out? They don't want anything to do with the dog. They want me to deal with the dog. They just want, they love the idea of the dog. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. 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 You work way too much to have a dog, dude. I don't want a dog. Well, you, I don't even like the dog. If I dog? want, even if I wanted a dog, it would not be that dog. I don't like that Sorry. fucking dog. Nose thing again. <laughs> Maybe you got to keep an idea in what your head, of, not tell you. What kind of dog would you get if, if you could pick your own damn dog? Uh, if I could pick my own dog, I think honestly, just like a 
like a, a lab or a retriever you know what i mean just just your average dogs that are fairly smart that are fun companions you know yeah they can learn some stuff and you can enjoy not uh, i think fun. really you just need a fence and a doggy door really i need i mean not for this no, damn dog no the fucking dog this dog would just go outside i hate park. this fucking dog i mean I hate this fucking dog worse than, I I don't like this dog at all. Not, I don't know if you can tell. A great dog. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I don't like this dog. It's not a great dog. It's really not. It's not a great dog. It's a pretty bad dog. Yeah. It's a bad dog. They the girls love it because they think it's cute and they want a dog. They want a dog when they feel like wanting a dog. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then the other twenty Three hours and 52 minutes of the day I have to have and take care of this dog that I don't want. So you have a dog. <laughs> yeah. So it's your dog. Yeah, it's so dog. you've got a dog. I don't want to. I've got dog. a dog too. Yeah, but Scruffy's got a weird face. That'd be fun. Yeah, he's a great dog. I like this dog a and lot. And he can sleep in a, like, horrible position. How about... um? Living in Sioux Falls, do you would like you've lived here a long ass time, dude? Or like I know you live in Worthing, but like, well, I lived in Florida for in Tennessee for a while, but well, yeah, but I mean, you've lived pretty much in Sioux Falls, shit, since I was twelve or thirteen. You were still freaking a uh, thought on oh, that in mind. <laughs> no, I was just a little fucking shit. I remember back when you had the like big CD changer and all that shit. And oh the shit, yeah. Speakers and oh yeah, can't back, go outside yeah. after it gets dark because yeah, it was a dangerous. great neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was a fucking great neighborhood there. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. Everybody's everybody's first place or two is uh rather interesting. Yeah, but I feel like those places are the most fun, dude. Oh, that's where that, that's where real life happens. Yeah, like that's just that's the heartbeat. That's the pulse of the city right there. Oh you yeah, know? like ah, uh, oh, it's one of those where it's terrifying. You know, you don't have much money at that time. Can't really go out and do a bunch of fun shit. You know, you got to stay home a lot. Uh, How much was your rent? Hundred. This is no shit. On that place, hundred and twenty nine dollars a month. <laughs> $129 a month. You couldn't rent a refrigerator box for $129 a no, month, dude. Fuck no. I, but hey, that's why I stayed there as long as I did. <laughs> Holy was, shit, dude. Of course, you know, guys, we don't need much. No. I mean, you, you, fuck, you give us a goddamn, as long as we have a room to sleep in and, and a place to watch TV, we don't give a shit. Yeah, just no bugs. Yeah, but, but what? No bugs. Oh, no, come on now. We ain't talking about bugs. Well, I'm just saying, like the place I had didn't place. have fucking bugs. I mean, no, I know, but that's another big seller. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. No there's bugs. a selling point. Yeah, <laughs> that's the way the people sell stuff. Yeah, this place is uh fifteen hundred dollars a month. Borrowed at this nest. It has five bedrooms, and I, but ain't no bugs. I ain't no <laughs> bugs. Yeah, I trust me. If they say that, usually you start questioning what the fuck are they saying? I, that I for? stayed in a place in Mitchell for a while that had roaches real bad. That sucked. Oh, dude, I've never been in a place that had roaches. Oh, it sucks so bad, dude. Never, I never, throw, never. I basically just threw all my shit out when I left. Really? Just all my shit that I had there, I just fucking threw it out. Started over. Not worth it. Not yeah. worth the risk. Yeah, I never. I, I never. mean, I put shit, I think if you put stuff in garbage bags for like X amount of days or X amount of hours or something like that, it kills whatever. But I did that, I think, with like a PlayStation or something. But other than that, yeah. I don't think. I don't know. When it comes to roaches, I think I'm going to just do what you did, throw everything away if that ever happens. No, yeah. I don't do that. Dude, we had bed bugs once. What? Yeah. I had bed bugs once in that house that I have. Um, cost thousand thousand dollars of treatment to come to the house, and they couldn't find where they were coming from. So I threw out, like, all the mattresses. I threw out all the curtains. I threw out like, cause they were literally, you'd try to go to bed and it got so bad that you'd try to go to bed and you'd feel them fall off the ceiling onto you. What? Yeah. You'd feel them fall off the ceiling and land on you. Bat. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I know bed bugs is a real thing, you know, all that, mm -hmm. but I've never seen. Cause they were living, I don't they know were living the in the, like. they were living, they, they're just little tiny bugs. 
but as they you know they grow to decent little size like it's a little bit smaller than like a ladybug and shit you know they can get pretty big um but they were living in the wood frame around the windows in my bedroom that's why they couldn't get them because they were spraying the floor because um they don't eat with their they don't have like mouths and shit they absorb things through their legs so the oh, that brings poisons up a whole and stuff thing. have to hit them in a different way. That, that and uh, up a whole. I actually found country. where they were coming oh from. Oh my god! Because I just waited till nighttime in a room with nothing in it, and this. just waited for them to come out. And they started. You could see them around the edge of the window, and then you just they came and every time they came and sprayed cost a thousand bucks. So the first time they sprayed, I didn't get rid of anything, and they came back right away. Second time they came, I had gotten rid of the mattresses and, like, all kinds of other stuff. Didn't help. The third time, I had gotten rid of the curtains and all that other shit, and that's when I found out they were... And I had them come spray around the windows and shit, and it got rid of them. $3,000. Nice. Yeah. This uh, that, that whole thing brought up a... All right. So last night, here I am being the my joyous, innocent self. That yes. I always am. Of course. And we're hanging out, freaking at a little bonfire. And uh, out of the blue, I don't know how it come to this, and people are going to say, what? And I, I Trust me, I don't remember how it fucking gets to this point. Yeah. Some guy says, I, you know, I, I, and this is like going to sound fucking strange. It, it is strange. I don't know where it come from. I wish I re could remember what was said before him and after you hear this you be you understand why you forget everything yeah <laughs> before you don't give a fuck right so the guy says uh yeah but guys have taste buds on the like the bottom of their sack right what yeah t I, t exactly <laughs> all right so and i'm like what he goes yeah he says yeah you can just fucking Dip it in some soy sauce, and I'm like, listen here, I'm not gonna be swinging, swing, swinging my sack, dipping it and shit. The fuck is wrong with people these days? I taste salty sweat. No, she tastes not nice anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they like. Ridiculous. Hey, I Ridiculous. guess you, if you just, I guess if you want to just kind of make shit up as you go or just believe everything on tiktok i don't know man i don't I know if this is a real time. thing or not i'm I not gonna test it out from a random guy and now it's real i don't know i'm not gonna fucking Me test either. it out i Me mean either. what a strange way to taste your food yeah exactly what well, you thought just it imagine sucked. you thought it sucked when you burned your mouth eating <laughs> soup before <laughs> motherfucker just, you just, just imagine wait. just imagine <laughs> fucking the woman coming down to the kitchen in the middle of the night here you are <laughs> up on the fucking <laughs> dip and you know, what the fuck are you doing I taste testing try the sauce yeah. before i put it on I'm, my noodles i'm just fucking taste testing our food use your mouth what if i get it in my mouth i can't get the taste out <laughs> exactly <laughs> <laughs> that's what she said what the fuck, dude? once she goes in her mouth she can't get taste out oh sure. my god uh so i was uh Looking at places to live, you know, because that's probably well, good to live place and have a place. Well, the yeah. place I live good. sucks. Nobody wants us there or anything. The whole town's trying to get rid of us. So. That's because you are the pillar of the community. If I'm a pillar of the community, the whole fucking thing's coming down, dude. <laughs> There's no way. Well, I thought, well, it might be something. That, well, yeah. I mean, I suppose I don't do anything wrong. I just go to work and can't really blame i'm That's not really saying it. i'm blaming you i'm saying maybe it has something to do with uh with uh your upbringing not real sure if it might have individuals involved in that but i did raise a lot of hell uh, it it might be uh, i'm yeah, i'm yeah. trying to tread lightly you know on a few things <laughs> yeah have something to do that they're 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 the pillars of the community well yeah but it's not about me i have a bunch of wonderful kids too they're uh, not they're not i me. had things about me one time they're not like me at all they're not anywhere near like i was at their age holy no. shit that town would be burnt to the fucking ground if they were anything like like me yeah but instead they crochet i mean yeah how's it coming i'm doing a pretty damn good job as a dad i think how's, how's considering that, how's the how's the crocheting coming what what what's what what's 
What's what's this? She's crocheting her ass off from the Fuck looks. Yeah, of it. she's like, I'm taking care of this shit. So you said you worked another ninety some hours this week? Oh fuck yeah! Every as soon as the rain broke, you know. Yeah. This, what this, time do you go to work? You usually there at six. Get up at like four. Yeah, I'm usually there at six. And shit, I'm. You just show up straight to job site? No, no, we got to go in no. and get scheduled and go through the meetings and what? all that. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. Well, no, just the just the foreman's on up. You know. Well, what do the employees do during that time? Uh, they don't show up until like seven. Oh, okay. Yeah. So do they show up at the same building then? Yeah. They, okay. But they they'll show up, and they, then they just get dispensed yep. among the foremen. Yep. And they go out to work. Yep. Then they uh. But shit, I go like say usually around six in the morning, and then usually it's. I mean, lately since the rain broke, you know, which is yeah, you know this nice for construction. Yeah. Oh yeah, time this, to get this, stuff done. This spring was fucking horrible. Yeah. And uh, but yeah, we freaking I don't know nine thirty ten o'clock. Then after that, when I get home, another twenty minutes, half hour to get home, and then I got an hour's worth of field logs to fill out everything for the day and what everybody did and all the equipment and all the everything all the materials and everything yeah and just break so it all you, down you basically so. have to do um god what is it like stock but yeah called something else. inventory yeah i got yeah, yeah. you got to go through and and basically give a description of everything how many foremen are there uh four Oh, that's not bad. No. Okay, that's a pretty small little company still yet. Oh, yeah. And you each get, like, how many workers to go? Well, it depends on, depends on the day. You can have, some days you'll have just one. Some days you'll have. No shit. Yeah, some days you'll have 15, you know. What the hell is wrong with people? Well, it just depends on the day. They just don't come in? Oh, God. You, you have no idea. This generation, there's. But it's not hard. No, but I. Trust, I mean, it is time. Actually, consuming. what kind of breaks do you get? What's a break? So, I mean, when somebody's fucking like, I got to eat or I'm going to fucking puke or like something like that. They just Yeah, then you, you got to grab some shit. Let's go. Let's get going. Yeah, you grab some yeah. shit and you eat it and you fucking yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah you, yeah, you don't. 16 hours straight. Well, no, you're outside. So yeah. you can smoke, whatever the fuck. Yeah, 16 hours straight, yeah. man. Yeah. We don't. So you're basically on, you know, it's not like when you work in a building, you got to go outside to smoke and all this other shit. Oh, yeah, I know. You just smoke whenever the fuck you want to smoke and. Yeah, just not, just, you know, keep... obviously not in the equipment or pickups or anything like that. Well, crap, nothing you know, that you don't, don't pay for. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's all, yeah, I mean, whatever. It's just the way the company is. Well, There's that's that. just a basic rule of life. Don't but it's smoking shit that's not yours. But yeah, it's, it's, this generation is bad. I mean, and I was even talking here this week about, fuck, we were giggling a couple of the, the guys that had been around for a while and we yeah. were giggling about how we're just, it doesn't bother us to be watched working anymore because they'll just stand there and watch us jump from machine to machine to machine, to machine, to mm. machine, just stand there and watch Well, us how play. are you supposed to learn the machines though? Uh, like take some goddamn effort. You know, and some initiative. I, I would fucking want to jump in a machine. I'd oh, they just break some shit. But they don't even. They just. They'd rather just stand on Tic Tac or whatever and fucking. They're on out. the fucking phones. Oh yeah, still standing on Tic Tac or you know the Snapbook what, what or the fuck Snapbook and all that fucking weird shit at work, and yeah. you don't just brain them. Oh, I ain't got time. Well, I gotta I get shit send, done. Send them home. Well, I gotta get shit done. I mean, well, yeah, but just send them home. What are they there for? Well, I ain't got time to fucking deal with it. I mean, I would have to stop what I'm doing and take them home and then come back and finish what I had to do to begin with. I ain't got time to fucking worry about that. That's 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 the fucking upper office that has to deal with that shit. I, I give fuck. It ain't my fucking problem. My problem is So what do you fucking. how do you log that then? Oh, I just yeah, I just <laughs> log it as labor and then mark no, it no, down no, on what they though. did. Oh no, I take it take it off of there. Yeah, whatever it is. If they stop working at like ten o'clock and then just stand there until two, then they don't get paid. They don't get paid two. for them four hours. Yeah, I don't give nice. a shit. Nice. Okay. No. Good. As long as it's somebody's, you know, as long as they're not just getting paid to just stand. That's. Oh no. That used no, to no. be the thing that pissed me off. Oh, they get mad as hell. They get mad as hell and then figure that you know they oh I'll go get another job. Well, <laughs> you ain't gonna get paid standing around on that one either. Yeah, I mean, go back to fast food stuff. I suppose. Oh, yeah. Even there, if it's a busy fast food place, you ain't gonna make it. No, they ain't gonna make it. 
It's what bad. It's fuck. It's uh, this generation. And then you fire them, sad. and they just want to collect unemployment for as long as possible. Oh yeah, you don't fire them. You just don't have anything to do. You know, that's that's the greatest thing is you can just when they show up, yeah, nothing for you today. <laughs> nothing for you to do that for about six weeks and then all of a sudden you don't have to tell them that no more they just quit and go somewhere else yeah they don't have, they have to do shit that's how a lot of places do it yep. yeah you can't fire anybody anymore oh no because you fire somebody it might be because that like you you're a misogynist and stuff and yeah it'd be, well, with south dakota's right to hire right to fire isn't it well yeah 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 there's no you can do whatever you want you can yeah. fire them just because like fuck you, you you're wearing a red t-shirt it's a blue t-shirt day yeah. You can just fired. fire somebody just because I feel like I want to fire somebody today. Um, you fired. <laughs> Don't Smell matter. Like garlic. Do you eat garlic? You're fired. Yep. But that's all it is. I mean, sucks with the really sucks. Your turnover rates got oh, be God. insane. It's fucking yeah. What it's, do you guys pay for a new person? No experience. No experience. I suppose twenty something. I guess I'm not positive. Just to come out and f sweat your balls off and fucking dig, and shovel a little bit, dig some, and shit. do exactly what somebody tells you to do, and then the guy will probably get out and help you do it anyway. Yeah. So and then you do that a couple times, and then eventually you know what you're doing. Yeah. And then you try and learn another thing. Yeah. So that eventually you become more useful to the company and get paid more money. Exactly. And then I like to do this thing where you don't miss work. Unless you, yeah, you, know, you well, scheduled that day off, yeah, for some, you know, yeah. Well, that's not that's not these days. These days, people they, they they'll come to work, you know, bright eyed and ready to go. You know, at three days a week, you know, yeah, yeah. They're supposed to be there like six, but did, you know, they, they made her three. By God, what? And yeah, then you don't hear from them at all for two days. Well, and it, then it, it's hard, back it's in. hard yeah. work. Compared to, you know, somebody who's never done any, you take somebody who's never done physical labor and stuff. It's, it's well, a, true, but. It's a lot. But the deal is, is you get paid two to three times as much as you would working like fast food. I so would understand. If, I would understand. If you're, um, you're going to get paid two to three times as much, you got to work twice to three times as hard. Right? I would understand if somebody like started out and like the first week or two, they were kind of an every other day guy showing up, you yeah. know, because. They're not used to it, so they got to spend the day just going. Oh, oh, oh no, we never yeah. work them that hard, even. Yeah, I, really, it's not that hard. We don't work them that hard. Why not? It's not That's like the best way to work. It's not. Yeah, but it's not like they have to. You know, it's not like if you picture they're going out and there there's this mountain of freaking stuff to shovel and they're just shoveling fourteen hours a day nonstop. It ain't that. Yeah, usually it's cleaning off a sidewalk, maybe a curb, and sweeping it and. Then they got 10, 15 minutes to go grab some water or something, you know, out of the pickup. And, and, uh, as you're doing something and then when they get back, you're like, Hey, would you do this and this little thing, you know? And Oh yeah, no problem. Or cut something up with a saw, you know, whatever it is and load fun. it up, you know, really not kind of fun. Yeah. It's really not. I mean, the thing so is, you, get is to, they, you get to shovel and play in dirt. Yeah. Um, which you get you, to use yeah. the saw. You get to eventually learn how to run run the machine, bigger machines, yep. at least a couple of them. Yeah, you know, uh, sounds fucking like a blast. Yeah, it's a good time. I mean, well, it's not a good time. Well, but no, but I mean, it's work it's, for me. But it's honest work. Yeah, it's honest, honest hard work. Hard work, but it's at the same time, it's not. You know, uh, it's not no fun. Oh yeah, it's good times. Yeah, a lot of time, a lot of funny shit happens. And, yeah, you know, we're not. You know, one hundred percent. I guess we're PC, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so we're a little more. Well, no, yeah. almost no job that's yeah. fun is. Yeah. It, you can have a good time, but. You know, you don't say things that, you know, are out of line or anything, but you you bust people's balls and shit a lot. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, that's the whole thing is if, if for me anyway, is if I don't like somebody, you know, or the person or whatever, I just won't talk to them. I, you know, I mean, it's not like I avoid them or and mean to them. I'm, but I just don't have nothing to say. Cause I just, so if I don't talk to you, I don't fucking like you. You know yeah. what I mean? If I'm giving you crap and razzing you and teasing you about something, well, then, then I like that's you. A, yeah. That's kind of, I'm the same way. Um, I'll even like, if I like, if I fucking think you're cool, so I'll, I'll give you the most shit. Oh yeah. Out of anybody. Yeah. 
And yeah, that's, yeah, that's a lot weird of about people can't handle that, dude. That's they, weird they, about guys, though. I mean, isn't that the truth? That I mean, guys, guys, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm at my yeah, age. These, these days, age, guys, yeah, age, they're different. Your age, guys, guys. You know, yeah. both ways, both sides of your age is guys, guys. Um, my age is guys, guys, like fifty percent, and then below me is twenty percent. Guys, guys, guys. Just, guys. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's like. You know, we're lucky yeah. around here. We the have ones younger farm, than, we have the ones younger than you and stuff is, like that, you know, that yeah. and rodeo guys, stuff like you know, those are fucking guys, guys, yeah. dude. Anybody under thirty and I, I well it seems anymore, it's like eighty percent of guys. I've heard a lot of guys, of I've heard guys a lot that of are girls, under thirty um, wore dresses. I've heard a lot of point. girls, especially the one that I work with, I've heard her main complaint with the guys that she's cause she's, you know, kind of single mingling a little bit with some guys and uh she says her biggest complaint is they want to talk about their fucking feelings all the time oh i know yeah, they want to talk about their babies. feelings they want to talk about their emotions they're asking her questions like where this relationship is going and stuff what? yeah she said some you know <sighs> there's sometimes you just want a guy to be a fucking man come home and just be a man you yeah. know just you know you want to be rough and stuff and she said it's just so hard to find that because guys just want to talk about their feelings well it's just that's why honestly these days most women that are really looking for something lasting or something good can't find it well they're they're giving up on the you know across age and they're going for older men because well, yeah. we know how we just we just are we don't care. well you're just the thing with older guys or um not just older guys but like man's men Type dude, you just you are who you fucking are. Yep, and that's just how you are. Take it or leave it. They're I mean, always gonna just, be. Yeah, there's certain maybe small things that can change. You know, like maybe you tone down drinking or going out as much, oh, a yeah, little yeah. bit. You know, just stuff that happens naturally. Yep, when you meet somebody you like, but I don't know. Sometimes they make you drink more, but that's well, that you know. to start. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, start and end. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. <laughs> But, you know, um, there's nothing wrong with a guy that rubs you the wrong way. You know, if anything, that's good. Women like a challenge. The guys, if you're a guy and you keep just, I do everything a woman could want. I'm yeah, always they don't there, want that. I'm always da da da, and they always fucking cheat, and they always fucking leave. Yeah, because, of course, you're going to lose interest you, in you. You aren't a challenge at all. You bend and uh, fit whatever... They want you, whatever narrative they want you to fit at the time, and that's just no fun. Yep, and anything they ask, you'll do. Anything no. you want, and it's like, oh, yeah. God. The, Be yourself. I mean, I'm not trying to freaking, you know, I'm not like, it's not like something I'm like, oh, it's huge, but it's it's in general, it's the truth. Guys are fucking assholes. Yeah. They're all assholes. Well, yeah. except for these family little guys Successful that are young. Guys. Successful guys yeah. tend to be dicks. We're all, well, there's a difference. Not a dick. I mean, there's difference. Well, in there are some they are that are perceived dick. as yeah. dicks by lesser men. Oh yeah, but women, sure. women see a, a bunch of assholes. I don't understand why he gets fucking with me. But women like dick. women like a, an asshole to a certain extent. Yeah, you know, you just can't be a complete dick. You know what I mean? No. They don't like that. There's limits to everything. Yeah, and then same with well, all women are crazy, but it's just levels. the level of crazy that you want yeah. to deal with. I mean, and I'll, yeah, I'll deal with of crazy and your type of crazy. Oh yeah, well. I'll, I'll deal with different like, flavors of crazy out there. I know because I'll deal with like you know the the oddball weird question and you know spontaneous you know, coming up with wanting to go do something fucking crazy or weird or whatever, you know, All I, right, but what's your... I have no problem with that, but I don't want waking up in the middle of the night, like three 30, her standing over me with a knife. Yeah. Fucking it's like psycho. What's crazy. your number one deal breaker in a woman? Oh number God. One. Number one. This, above all else. Can't fucking stand it. Uh, number one deal breaker. In person, well, mine, I, I, mine <laughs> is uh, being disrespectful in public. Oh, absolutely. If they're, Number dis one, that's the, if they're disrespectful no, in I mean, person, they're disrespectful yeah. in any way. Yeah, they're done. Yeah, I want nothing to do with them. Yeah. But that's that's the biggest one though for even me. on like a, a dating. I know app. there's like a there's like a bunch of things that can be on the list, but that's if I had to pick one at the top, trying yep. saying something um, <laughs> derogatory or trying to embarrass me in public. 
Exactly. I mean, there's one thing to be a little, have a little tease and not take it yeah, too far. Yeah, 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 yeah. And women know when they take it too far, you know. But it's... Uh, or guys do, too. Exactly. It's another thing, like, for the, like, on dating apps or whatever, the number one turn off is you start reading through their little description or whatever. I haven't been. And the, the first thing they say is, forever, dude. you know, uh, you know, I'm this, I'm that, and I'm an independent woman. Swipe. Oh, if you're, you're independent, independent go ahead, be independent. If you, um, I don't want nothing to do with you. If anything in your description is also found in a Beyonce lyric, yeah, go on with yourself. Yeah, or I don't even Swift want nothing. I mean, or yeah. anything like that. If you want to say on. you're independent, great, be independent. Be independent. I don't want. I don't, why you don't you need me. App? You're independent. Yeah. You why know? are you on a dating app? Exactly. I don't know what the fuck you're looking for. Yeah. You know. I mean, how can you have a relationship and be completely independent? Exactly. I don't get that. So. Like whatever, if that's you're what you want. And plus, um, when you first meet somebody, you're both supposed to be completely independent, and then gradually mesh, yeah, together. Where but the I mean, things that you are your the, responsibilities become their responsibilities, kind of thing. But the re reason you're is both supposed the reason to what be a reason what the bios for is to to list things that are very positive to attract yeah. another. If they're and independent, likes and she, dislikes. I don't want you likes and dislikes. Yeah. yeah. If I don't, if you're independent and that's a big thing to attract, I just, you're not going to attract me. Instead I don't need nobody. Instead of independent, try putting strong. I'm a strong woman. And well, I, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, you could even to not, or even to not come off as like, you know, uh, maybe muscly or something like that. Be like emotionally strong. Um, I'm able to stand on my own two feet. Blah blah blah, but I'm looking for somebody to you know maybe 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 share a, a great way a to a great way something. to explain something like that would be not a stage three clinger. Yeah, right. Boof, guys know what that means. Yeah. We're like cool. You mean you can actually exist if we're busy for a day? Yeah, you know, and you ain't or fucking you hitting us up five hundred like, times. Like uh, cool, doing my own thing sometimes. Yep, something like that too. That. You know, any of those things come off more. Um, when you when you say thing, and this goes both ways too. When you say things that are abrasive, like ah, like things like that, like I'm an independent woman. You're you're almost in a way. I mean, there's not a lot of independent women songs that aren't songs that shit on guys. Exactly. So you're almost coming out derogatory out the gate, right there. You know, I at least I take it as, oh, for fuck's sakes, you're gonna be a pain in the ass. Immediately, they're not not misogynist like she's gonna bitch about me not helping out and dead. No, I fully believe in sharing housework, all that stuff. Everything's fine. I everything that makes sense to a point. I totally on board with, and uh, you know I, I don't expect the woman to be barefoot and pregnant and taking care of that. We work the same job, make the same amount of money. Um, yeah, did we talk about decisions when we buy stuff and everything. You know? Yeah, I mean that that works. I mean, it yeah. works at times if you find the right person. Yeah. I mean, me, I'm I'm a hair different. You know? Well, my my thing is as long as she doesn't start um taking on more of the male roles oh, in God. the relationship That's because annoying the, as hell. Not because um I want to be in control, but because I find that unattractive. Yeah. You know, not I just well, I don't want that's you to start the thing acting is, like is, a dude. It, I don't like that. That's the thing. That's, you take women out these days you probably ain't been on a day for a while but you take yeah. a woman out these days and the, you'll sit there through the date and the first thing they want to tell you is you know all their education and how much money they make and how they're handling everything and taking care of stuff and you i'm like you shouldn't talk about how much money you make on no the first but women date. do that stuff no, all the time and they do it should. all the time but that, the, that's a that's a but even then flag, dude don't you don't discuss money but even then that's what women find attractive. Yeah, men don't find that shit attractive. We don't give a fuck no. what you make, and if you we if don't give a fuck what education you got. The reason you want to hang, hang out, we don't out. care. Yeah, but if that's the and also if that's the only thing that gets her to hang out in the first place, you're not taking her serious. I mean, just think about you're it. You're not taking her serious. She's not going to be somebody no. that you're going to start anything with ever no and just 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 think about this you got a fairly successful guy right just picture him you know whatever he's over there yeah and you turn around and uh you got uh 
you know, you, you got a woman that has all these accolades, 25, and she's probably, let's say, of six, right, on the scale. Yeah. Right, whatever. Okay, you got her. She's an option. You got this other girl that... No, 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 even without the other girl, what... What percentage of a chance do you think you have of that lady being nice? Well, no, that too. Just being nice. Yeah, just that. But then you get this other gal that maybe doesn't have any college, just out of high school. She's 25 too, same same age. She She's a six, six and a half, you know, whatever. Works a menial job, you know, just kind of does her own. It's, what's the difference? There is no difference to a guy. It's which one it ever treats you. Yeah, it literally just comes. We don't give a fuck. You we don't. I don't care if a woman has ten million dollars. That's just it. I and don't, another I don't one. She it. has a twin sister that has nothing. I don't need it. I, I don't. Need I, don't I would choose either. Depends on how they treat me. I yeah. care. I could care less about their money, their work, their their goals, or because their goal. My goals are going to be their goals. You know what I mean? When we well, get I together, mean, if anything should have the same type of goals if you're going to mesh as people uh, to a certain extent Your goals yeah. should be in the same area you yeah know? to an extent yes one person can't be like oh my goals right and you're like my goals over here so yeah that ain't gonna work out we're, anyway we're eventually gonna whoop. then it's the, then it's just the, the regular three six months you know enjoy them for a while and yeah. then find the next yeah or usually they got a hot friend so you can just go on to that oh well, yeah you can <laughs> Some guys, <laughs> some guys can't do that. Well, just, you got to do what you got to do, you know, and, and over time you learn. I think it would be smarter to just fall back into friend zone and then just. No, no, no. Cause you, you can't be you friends with the woman. Well, no, no, no. But like, uh, you know, just talk to you sometimes if you, if you enjoy conversating with them or anything, oh, I, if there's no. anything there, that's not just, there's nothing sexual. that a woman can do for me. Sometimes some, some women are nice. But yeah, but what what can they do? To, put it this way: to. What can a woman do do for me as being a friend that a guy can't? I don't know. I like. Uh, so why in the fuck would I deal with women? I don't know. As a friend, I sometimes mean, I'm not dealing with them as a friend. Easier to talk to. Easier to talk to. That's my, but they don't have any idea what I'm talking about because they never went through any of it. I talk to a guy; he knows exactly what I'm saying. Sometimes. So, sometimes it's hard to talk to guys though because guys can be dicks. Well, yeah, but you got to be able to fucking have a friend or two that you have to. I have, he, like, a friend. You maybe. have to have I a mean, friend. I mean, he doesn't even really talk to me that much anymore. But that's the deal. You always you, A guy has to have a friend, at least one, that that's real. And that way you can just tell him. And, and when I, like, for me, when I tell you something, you understand what the fuck I'm saying. Yeah. Without me going into all the background bullshit. You already like, that's oh, I get, a, it, I get it, I get it, I get it. That's a good point. Women do need a lot of explanation but about everything but that, women, just to get to Even the then, they don't understand sometimes. because they live an entirely different life because they're women. Well, yeah, if I had somebody chasing me around all day trying to shove stuff in me, I'd fucking... Well, live or buy you too. shit constantly or offering you stuff. Yeah, but all... Holding doors all for you, with, all giving with you the rides unspoken, for nothing, going out buying you meals for nothing. the unspoken thing of, yeah. I want to put stuff in you. That's what the whole premise is, but they use that to their advantage. Yeah, but still, that what a shit life. Well, hey, we'll never understand completely what yeah, it's like no, to be there. somebody's nice to us, most of the time they're nice to us because they want money. Exactly, or a favor. Yeah, or but something. but like I say, if all Women, all this it's always you're nice because they want to put stuff. In if you. I said, Jesus Christ, if I I told you like all oh, this gal, That's you know, kind she, of a terrifying she came to, to me live. and she did this and she did that and she said she wanted this and blah blah blah. And you'd be like, oh yeah, I know exactly what the fuck's going on. Without but me I going, think, she wanted money. Would, and she I made think me if do I was and, a woman, I yeah. would think men were fucking pigs. Well, yeah, and. W exactly. If I was a woman, I'd be like the same that we are now, but I'd be talking about how men are dog shit. And you fucking just use Oh, I'm still saying people. there are men that are dog shit. I'm not. There's a. I'm selection. an equal there, opportunity there's offender. There's quite a large selection of men that are. But what I'm saying shit. is, is as as a, a man, we can understand that, yeah, there's piece of shit men. Yeah, there's oh, also yeah. dog shit women. Yeah. But women, on the other hand, they're like, no, we're all tens. But the, but the, the whole, like, fuck? um if, being a strong, independent, I just. Feminine is femininity is attractive. Being feminine 
is attractive. Ah, uh, see, but being feminine, being masculine is not attractive. No, not, not at all. At least not to me. Not to it's just not ninety percent of men. Yeah. There's a couple, you know, beta guys that like it. There's there's probably thirty other guys or thirty forty percent of guys that will say they like it just to sleep with you. Yeah, but they don't really fucking like it. You know, I mean, even if I was, uh, even if I was gay, it would have to be a, a guy that acted like a woman, like acted. Fe- I wouldn't be able to be a gay guy that dated like strong. See, people, this comes back to know? the first question. It wasn't for me. It was for him. Oh, nobody asked about him. me. I got a good cover going on. Yeah, I see. No, no, it was for him. Yards. That's where it comes cover. from. See, we knew he'd get to it eventually. No, he's just trying to turn it. So um, he doesn't want everybody to know. That's exactly is. where mm. exactly where mm. it came from oh, and yeah. exactly where it's heading. See, oh, he we me. knew. Oh, got yeah. me good. Yeah. I can't say that. No. Your boyfriend would get pissed. <laughs> <laughs> God damn! I I I'm not against guys that are they're gay or whatever. They they could do their thing, and then that's perfectly totally fine. Hard. I'm just like don't. And, and like I said, I don't even mind being friends with with them or whatever. You know, it's it's great. I just with just them. don't push the shit on me. You I know don't what I mean? Mind being friends with those things is what he meant to say. No, no, not like that. Jeez, not like that. But it's a. Uh, I just don't like it when they push I it. work with a guy, okay, who is afflicted with homosexuality. <laughs> afflicted. Oh, <laughs> boy, here we go. God damn. They haven't talked about that in about fucking 10, 15 oh, years. They, didn't. they used to talk about it like that. <laughs> that was crazy, man. Oh, people are so, d- like, is you know, you think about how stupid people are now, and people have just always been dumb. It's just a different kind of dumb. Yeah, they're just more... It's all about me and myself oh. and my feelings. My fi- I don't give a fuck about Says your feelings. The two guys bitching on a podcast. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about it's all about me. Feeling. Yeah, I don't care about. I mean, really, camera, camera. <laughs> the only time I care about any any guy's feelings is <laughs> if the dude fucking comes to me with some serious problems. Okay, I'm here. I'm here to listen. You know what I mean? And I give a shit. Other than that, some guy, oh, fuck, I feel like, I don't give a fuck. Leave me alone. You know, I'm fuck, man up. Yeah. I'm fucking here to work, or I'm yeah. here to do this. Just get out of my way, you know. We don't care. Not really. I mean, unless yeah, it affects our day, you know. Like, yeah. if the guy bitching is going to be mopey sad sack all fucking day, and you're going to have to pick up his work, that sucks. No, then you just, then you just harass him until he goes away. I mean that's that that's what too. we do. We just we don't put up with shit. Quite a bit. And yeah, I mean the, the deal is is women will always test you to, you know, they they do this shit on purpose. They don't do it I guess it's not on purpose, it's just natural. They do it without thinking. Yeah. And cuz mate selection a is way, a big thing. It's a way of um getting forced reassurance, I think. It is. They, they constantly want to be reassured that, that everything's fine. That the man is good, still the man. All right. Yeah, that, that he's the same uh, guy. Nothing's wrong. Everything, everything's fine. Everything's cool. Everything's good. I don't know. Okay. Everybody's happy. Everything yeah. All the fucking time. And then deal is, is yeah. If you, you don't do things to show them that, you know, like <laughs> Buy flowers or, you know, little thing. When you're in a relationship relationship, you know, you do little things. Let them know that, you know, everything's good. Everything's cool. And then they don't have to do that all the time. All you got to do is say hi when you walk in the door. Hey. Like, then it's good. That's the only sometimes, word you got to say. Sometimes no, all you got to do is just walk in the door. Yeah. Like, it's really not. I'm here. Yeah, it's really not that. But, yeah, you got to do the little every once in a while. But, but people try to do... Guys try to do that stuff so much. If you do it too it, much, it, it becomes meaningless. Well, it's not that it becomes meaningless. It does. It loses that, its flair. It doesn't have the same impact. Women women kind of think in general, women, not every woman, but in general, women, you can kind of see it like this, is uh, if, if, uh, if you want to be appreciated and you say, oh, well, this is how I want to be appreciated. We all know a woman likes flowers or candy and, or a little. Tr- most, yeah. Whatever, you know what I mean? Most, in general. Yeah. Okay. So we already know that. Hell, I like flowers. But Fuck. if they come, because yeah, the whole question at the beginning of the day. Anyway, no, I just <laughs> I think they smell nice. So and if they, uh, they look nice, the deal is if we 
if your woman does that nice thing for you three or four times a week, every week, all the time, when you did nothing special for it, you just existed, you're going to grow to resent it. Well, either you know what I mean, it or you're not going to appreciate it. it. Well, yes, you know what I'm saying. That's yeah. what it's going to kind of come to. You're going to be like, it's just a this guy's a pushover. You know, expected thing. This this guy's a pushover. This guy's a wimp. This guy's a loser. You know, whatever well, the deal. Most is. of that, I think, comes down to conversationally because they will try and just get you to just bend over backwards in arguments and shit. Oh, they'll do to yeah. where you become the guy that's like, all right, Jesus, fine. You turn into that guy. That's the beginning of the end, too. Oh, it is. Yeah. Right then and there. It's done. Yeah. Because that's, you're starting to live a sitcom relationship. And, and I you know, the it, thing about TV shows and stuff is they're yeah, not fucking they're real. real. Yeah. Uh, so if you live, every sitcom is, you know, just puts the guy down. Dog, I wouldn't be able to get anything done if it wasn't for her. <laughs> you know, just yeah. makes every guy a bumbling idiot. And then. Women go out and they try to act like they're smarter than guys just because they have a vagina. And not say, hey, put it this way. There, I'm not saying that when you put a caveat on that. I'm not saying there ain't women that's smarter than most guys or yeah, some guys. Of course guys, there you is. Know, you know, of course there yeah, is. But they they want to act like men. So what's that? I mean, think about it. Well, yeah, you're trying to take our roles, to if, get paid the same as we do, get the jobs that we got. I mean, you're just nothing about being a guy is attractive. No. Not to me anyway. No, I'm it's, a guy. Yeah, exactly. I'm a, I'm a fuck. heterosexual guy, so nobody yeah. even gives a shit what I have to say yeah, anyway. It's not attractive whatsoever. Yeah. So that's that's my thing. And and if you women would just be women and that would be great. And yeah. then uh, if they're you wanna, sought if after. If you want to be trashy, if you want to be trashy and shit, be trashy at home. Yeah. When it's just you get all your do all the trashy stuff you want there, but then when you go out in public, act be more like a lady. Oh God! Okay, no. you don't they can't have do that. To, you don't have to jump into the conversation. Having my back doesn't mean jumping into the argument with me, jumping into the fight with me. Sometimes it means just standing there quietly while I make my point, and then we both walk away. You know, like you're with me. Women can you do know? that. I think women. What are they? They they. It's a trust they, thing. They say I like to say when it it's comes a trust down thing. to. They, they don't. Say, they don't trust. Besides me and you, people just in general don't trust yeah. anymore. Besides me and you, men only say like, I don't know what, two thousand words a day or something like that. And then know. women are on average. You know what I mean? But uh, women are oh, like I 10 probably or twelve. Blow her out of the water, dude. Yeah, me and you are different because we Next doing a fucking podcast, up. so yeah. we're fucking talking all fucking day about weird and dumb shit. But absolutely nice. about fucking nothing well it's it's been a collage of shit we're just talking about nothing yeah, yeah. it works out nice exactly people are gonna be listening to this going man these people are fucking yeah we'll nuts. do this every couple of weeks yeah you know like subscribe write in with ideas questions shit you want us to talk about oh yeah we're more than happy to make fun of about other make subjects. fun of him yeah yeah, yeah. make fun of and his sex of hat yeah you see his sex hat right yeah yeah damn right yeah i've got to make fun of that and it's okay to make Man, fun of his bought, mirrored glasses. I bought a socks hat on the worst damn the socks, gear. Sex. It looks like sex from here. Oh, is the strings coming out? Nice. <laughs> you can't have sex when that's happening. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. Hey, you said it. it. We better call it a yeah. day. You Let's gotta, get the fuck out of here on that note. That'll deep. leave everybody going, what the fuck is wrong with these people? All right. Thanks for tuning right. in, man. Appreciate you. And next week, we will update on the crocheting, make sure everything is going well. Yeah. And, or uh, or uh, two weeks from now. Two when, weeks. Whatever. Yeah. Depends. Next episode. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Show. She got, yep. Boom. There During we go. The All right. Show, see, guys. that happened. That happened. During the show. She During the show. So, we're talking right. real talent here. Well, yeah. Real talent. Something. Real talent. Definitely something. Yeah. Not, How you raise good yeah. kids. Crochet. All right. Yeah, crochet. Thanks for stopping crochet. in. Is that French? Bye. Is that like the tour? Bye-bye. Okay. We're out.